Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the month of September. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind this reading is for September. It's being recorded in August, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, the first thing I see is fall and I know September is almost fall. I think the first day of fall is in October. I'm not sure. I think so. I think it's like a, I don't know, like third week in October? Maybe it's the third week in September. It is, isn't it? September 21st? I don't know. It's either September 21st or, or August or October 21st. I don't know. I think it's September 21st or 22nd or right around that day. Something like that. Anyhow, something about the fall. Something right around the fall equinox. I don't know what that means. I also see the nine, night of pentacles a slow and methodical approach somebody may be moving very slowly towards you or you may be moving very slowly towards them whoever this is whether it's you or the other person this is very practical it's the right thing to do it leads to something solid and stable taking this slow approach um patience patience be patient be patient i feel as though whatever's happening it may not be moving as quickly as you'd like, but or maybe it's moving too fast. Either It could go either way. Slow and steady wins the race. That's a message that you need to hear. Um, whatever's happening, things are looking up. I think things are going to be getting better. I feel as though there's been some sort of lesson that has been learned or something like that. And you guys are about to step over that finish line and start something new. Um, justice may be being served. Justice may be being served in your favor. I'm not sure if you're dealing with any legal matters or whatnot, but I feel like if you have been waiting for something, you're going to, you're going to get something that you deserve. Okay. And this could be just that final decision, maybe a final, somebody is coming up with some sort of making a final decision right around this fall equinox. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty prominent here. I feel as though, um, I see a very creative energy. I feel, I see a very strong, uh, decisive energy. Somebody that is very inspired to, uh, be successful. I see a lot of vigor, you know, a lot of excitement. Like it's, it's an exciting time. Maybe it's a, an exciting time for you to, uh, go your own way in a business, you know, start your own business or prosper in your business. Um, if you've been worried about your business, I think that, that business is going to pick up. Okay. If you have a business, if you're a business owner, if you're the boss, I think that business is going to pick up. Uh, you may come up with new, some new creative idea around this time that leads you towards success. Whatever is happening, it's good because I just see the wheel of fortune, which is good. Good luck is on its way. Something good, a lucky break, uh, some sort of lucky break is coming. Um, yeah, so what do we got for Aquarius in September? Something really good is going to happen. And I think it's right around that fall mark, <laughs> you know, where it's that fall... Uh, Equinox. Um, what do we have for Aquarius for September? I keep seeing that Knight of Pentacles. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody that is coming in very slowly. Um, this person is very responsible. Um, if it's, if it's, it could be you, you moving slow, planning, make, this is a time of planning because the Knight of Pentacles is a planner. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't, um, move very fast, but it's solid. High Priestess. So this is going within. This is harnessing your power. Very intuitive this month. Trust your intuition. I feel as though you are seeing situation situations clearly. You may be um, receiving messages. Maybe you know something is about to happen. I feel as though this is probably a time of keeping to yourself. Maybe that's you taking on that Knight of Pentacles um, energy. It's like I'm just going to keep what I know to myself. 
So whatever that is, um, you could be, you could also be dealing with a high priestess. If you know, you could be dealing with somebody that is very, very, very intuitive. Somebody that is part of the script. This person may be part of your script. I'm not sure. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Pisces. This could be you taking on this energy. Somebody that is very, very divinely guided and is seeing a situation clearly. Keeping to themselves. So you could be dealing with somebody who is, is quiet. Very, very quiet. Or you are being very, very quiet this month. Um, star. This is a wish fulfillment. Time of inspiration. Time of creativity. The star of the show. Um, shining very brightly. Uh, here we, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus. We could. This, that's probably you. That is probably you shining very brightly. You're the star of the show. This is a wish being granted. Now, this is not putting in much effort. This is listening to your... Very, very divinely guided this month. You are receiving messages probably... You're not even trying. They're just coming. They're just coming. The messages that you need to hear are coming. You are 100% divinely guided, divinely, divinely guided, divinely guided. You are being guided from the other side. There's, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Um, happiness. Right around the corner. Right around the corner. Ooh, unexpected. Wow. But the thing is, is you might not see it. You might miss this opportunity. If you are focused on something, you know, a loss or focused on some sort of hurt that you have experienced, you could miss an opportunity for happiness. This is reluctant to move on, staying in a troubled state of mind, towards a state of mind. You may not be putting in effort to connect with somebody, but you have somebody here that wants to connect with you. Could be a Gemini. Could be Taurus. Could be another Aquarius. Um, I feel as though you have this unexpected opportunity. This person is not who you asked for. Okay, you notice she's looking up there. That's not who I asked for. She's looking up at that angel. What are you talking about? That's not who I asked for. So, but it's what you... Uh, it's what you wished for, but it doesn't, the, the description doesn't fit. This person is unusual to you, okay? They may seem a little odd, but it's part of the script. It's part of the script. This is all part of the script. You may be reluctant to put in any effort because this person doesn't fit the bill. And I don't know, that could do with looks. It could go with how they act. It could do with their voice. It could go do with, you know, what they do for a living. Whatever it is. They're odd to you. They're, they're not your usual type. But it's something that you wished for. But you may not see it. And if you notice, these are mirroring each other. It's like you, you may not see it because, you know, it doesn't fit the description. It doesn't fit what you're used to. It's not what you're used to. This person is odd in some way to you. Um... Oh, this one just came out and it flipped. I don't know if it was upright or reversed. It flipped sideways. I'm going to take it. What? I don't even know how to take it. I'm going to take it upright. I feel as though there's an opportunity for love here. Your approach is to open your heart. Your approach is to, is to, is to accept this offer. You see? You see this? It's like the hand of God is offering you love. Here it is. They're offering you love, but there's some sort of element of mystery here. There's an element of mystery. There's an element of fear facing the unknown. There's something that you don't see about this person. It's something that, that you can't see. Okay. It's something on the inside that you can't see. So I feel like this month you have an opportunity to start fresh, but you could be fearful. It's like there's an offer of love. There's an opportunity for happiness. There really, really is. But there's something that you don't see, okay? There is truly something that you don't see. And that is the way it is. It's like you're not seeing. You you're, you're truly not. This is the unseen. 
and you're not seeing it. There's something that you don't see, but it it's an opportunity for love. And this is a, a, a gift from God, okay? I feel like you guys are reluctant to move on from something that you have been committed to. This is reluctant to move on, reluctant to transition, af afraid, really, really afraid. Maybe you're afraid of getting in a new commitment because, you know, you're focused on the pain that somebody else caused you. You may have been dealing with a Pisces. Maybe a Pisces deceived you or lied to you or... You know, whatever. I don't know if it was a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. Somebody has instilled some sort of fear inside of you that has caused you to not see a huge opportunity for love. So I feel as though right around the corner there's an opportunity for happiness and you are being called to just take this offer. It's like right in front of your face. Right in front of your face. This is an opportunity to, you know, have some int intimacy to, you know, get some tender, loving care. I think this is absolutely meant to be. This is what you've been waiting for. It's what you've wished for. Now they're giving it to you. It's like, here it is. Here it is. Please take it. Please take it. So I feel like um, you are definitely being guided to take it. I feel like you're not putting in the effort that you should into this new opportunity because of fear, because the last one was so... <sighs> deceptive or, or or something like that this person you know was a liar I don't know I feel like this person may have taken advantage of you and you know now you're afraid to you know you're like why is this happening you know maybe you don't trust anyhow yes you're worried you're very 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 worried worried about repeating the same patterns over again um, your challenge is is letting those fears go. Just let them go. Let them go. Um, oh, my God. You guys are having a hard time sleeping, right? It's like either you want to sleep too much or you can't sleep at all. It's the, we're, on, we're on this roller coaster sleeping problem issue because, you know, it's like you want this love. You're looking for this love. You really want it, but you're really, really worried about getting yourself in a false contract again. I think that you've done a lot of healing. I think that you've, you've healed over the last one and you're still healing over the last one. Now it's like this angel or Cupid or God even or somebody from the other side has brought in you you know, this big, bright opportunity and you're, you're not taking it. My advice is to please take it. I think that you're in no rush. You're in no hurry. Maybe you're really, really afraid. You're distrustful. Um, you probably were not taken care of. You were not taken care of by the last one. And I feel like you're, you may feel like you're not good enough because that's what a person does when they bring you down, when they don't take care of you. They make you feel like you did something wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. I don't think that you did. I think that, you know, you may, maybe you feel like you're not ready. You're not ready for, um, to be taken care of, but it's like God has this opportunity for you. You know, it really, God does. It does. I think whoever you were dealing with in the past was very selfish. They were smothering. They were a chaser. They had multiple opportunities. They used that to their advantage. They were an, they were a untrustworthy individual and I feel like maybe they even cheated I'm not sure if they did but I feel like they may have they definitely weren't telling you the whole truth they may even have a child with somebody else I don't know what that means but whatever um, I'm sorry but um I feel as though some of you are afraid to make a move because of your motherhood duties. You know, maybe you're, you're staying in this situation because, you know, you're worried about what your children are going to think. It's time for this to end. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for you to release. It's time for your transformation. It's time for your new life. You have to release to live again. So I feel like this is a month where you are being called to take this new opportunity for love. This is your approach go after the love this is in your approach position L know your value know your worth okay don't let fear get in the way there's a lot of fear here this is fear this is fear it's like you see an opportunity it's like god has given you an opportunity and now you have to make a choice you have to make a decision you you're worried about completing you're worried about this ending you're worried about uh 
a divorce perhaps I mean, I'm not sure if that's what this is you're worried about losing assets perhaps if you're married if you are single you're just worried about uh, being taken advantage of we have somebody here that is very very fearful of following their heart and it's like God says here's this big love you're missing take it please take it please take it this is part of the script it's meant to be it's meant to be, it's meant to be, it's meant to be, it's meant to be. There's an opportunity for happiness, but before you get that happiness, there's a, there, this is tens are a completion. There's a completion of one relationship. And I feel like you have been having a very hard time releasing that commitment that you are tied to. And one of the reasons some of you, some of you, not all of you are tied to it is because of the mother aspect or the you know parenting aspect of it but i feel as though it's time this is this right here right now right now there's there there's an opportunity to release <laughs> to start over endings bring new beginnings this is a transformation it's a time of change and transition it's time to transition out of this situation in which you are feeling very worried about it's you may feel guilty you may feel guilty you may may feel like you you can't you can't do it and i think that a lot of you feel like you can't do it because it has to do with children okay um there's a there's an opportunity here for you and i think that you want it i think deep down that you want it you're ready but you're not you're not ready to face your fears you want this you want this new life but you're not ready to face your fears there's an opportunity for a new commitment here with somebody that could really really make you happy but you got to drop something first something that you are holding on to you can't even see again you can't see it you can't see what's ahead of you and that's part of fear. You have to be able to drop what doesn't serve you, complete this cycle, and let and let yourself live again. There's an opportunity for a new life here. There really, really is. So Aquarius, I feel like this is a time of, you know, dropping something, you know, dropping your fears perhaps facing your fears. It's like, you don't want to face your fears. You have to face your fears. You have to to find happiness it's like you can't see you can't see that there's happiness because of some sort of deception whether it's you lying to yourself or you're worried about what everybody else is gonna say it's like God has brought in you something that you wished for this could make you very very happy it's time to let what is dead be gone and start over. And that is what I got. Good luck.